It's been more than 500 days since residents in Bolinas had a place in town to drop off their mail. A year ago, we reported that the West Marin town had lost its post office over a dispute with a building owner. People had to drive 12 miles north to an even smaller town just to drop off their mail. But now, as John Remus reports, there's new hope for a solution. In the small town of Bolinas, most people do not get mail delivered directly to their home, so it was a big deal when the local post office closed abruptly. But no one could have guessed it would take this long to resolve the matter. A flag still flies over the old Bolinas post office, although it's looking a bit faded with age. The Postal Service suddenly closed the office in March of last year in a lease dispute with the building's owner that may have involved asbestos floor tiles. Yeah, we had less than two weeks notice of our post office closing, and it's a vital part of our community. Most people here don't get home delivery, so they were forced to drive 40 minutes round trip to the post office in Olima to get their mail. I mean, we thought it might take you know, maybe three to six months to resolve. And, uh, you know, I mean, we all grew up with the post office. It's, it's a part of American life. When the dispute reached 95 days, activists like John Borg began organizing protests and letter writing campaigns. But the wheels of progress grind slowly at the United States Postal Service. And now, 561 days later, there is still no post office in Bolinas. I would say, <laughs> Frustrating and unfair are words that come to mind. But how long can you be frustrated? <laughs> what was it, 561 days? <laughs> I wasn't for the first days. I thought there was a good reason for it. But at some point in time, it becomes ridiculous. <laughs> Dita Tramp just returned from his daily trek to Olima to get the family's mail. He says he's lucky to be able to do it, but doesn't know how older people are coping with the long-distance mail service. You know, when you live out here and the power goes out for five days, people learn to shrug, but this is, uh, this is not lightning striking or a branch falling over. This is somebody up there in postal management just plain old ignoring their obligations. They can't get medications, they can't get pension benefits, they can't get their banking checks. We've had reports of people that have, have not gotten their ballots in the last election. But now, after a year and a half in bureaucratic purgatory, hope may finally be on the horizon. It's ready to move in, looks good to me. Borg says there seems to be a deal in the works to reopen the post office in the exact same space it once occupied. There's no timeline given for the reopening, and Howard Dillon, who's described as the town's poet laureate, says he's not holding his breath. It's just a level of, of insanity and incompetence that is beyond belief. If it's coming back soon, that will make me very happy. I will believe it when I see it. As the saying goes, neither snow, rain, heat, nor gloom of night is supposed to stop the post office from swift completion of its appointed rounds. But it doesn't say anything about asbestos. For that, it can take a little longer. So in a statement from USPS, the agency said in part, it has always been our intention to return to Bolinas. And the good news is we are currently in negotiations for a permanent solution.